Well, we've made it to episode two of Upvote TV. We have several stories in store for you today, ranging from internet piracy to hoaxed soccer slash Facebook lovers. Let's get into our first story. The four creators of the Pirate Bay, a website used to help people find and illegally download copyrighted material, are standing trial in Stockholm this week on charges of being accessories and conspiracy to break Swedish copyright law. The site does not host any of the unauthorized files, but it is used to facilitate piracy. Over 22 million users have used the site to illegally download games, movies, TV shows, and music. If convicted, they could serve up to two years in prison and pay a fine worth over $140,000. This story has many Reddit users up in arms. Users are arguing whether the men should be held liable for copyright infringement when they are not the one posting the material, nor are they distributing it themselves. The outcome of this case will determine if the listing of locations for downloading unauthorized material is in fact illegal. One Redditor had this to say about the Pirate Bay and copyright issues. Sites like the Pirate Bay are just a symptom of the deeper problem and there will continue to be more and more of these severe symptoms until the root cause is addressed. The deep down issue of this broken system is that there is no natural right known as the copyright, but it is in fact a social agreement created to promote investment into creating new ideas. Of course, if the site is shut down, it won't affect any of you out there, right? Soccer fans in Europe have recently taken team pride to astonishing new heights. Two Liverpool fanatics recently tricked Stuart Slan, a married Manchester United fan, into an online affair over Facebook. And if that wasn't far enough, they even arranged a meeting between Stuart and the fictitious girl named Emma. The Liverpool fans have managed to remain nameless, but put together a fake Facebook account and engaged Stuart in numerous seductively laced messages for over a month. He even sent a revealing photo to Emma. The two then decided it was time to meet and Stuart happily agreed. After nine hours of waiting in his car, Stuart called Emma and to his surprise heard on the other end of the phone were none other than the two Liverpool fans he had met months earlier in Mexico. The phone conversation and revealing photo of Stuart were both quickly placed on YouTube by the Liverpool fans and it became an internet sensation. When interviewed by the UK's Daily Express, Stuart, whose wife has since left him, had this to say, There's no doubt I've been done good and proper by the lads from Liverpool. It was cruel, but I'll hold my hands up and say they really wound me up. Let's move on to a little politics. Reddit has been on fire lately with a news article about President Obama and some of the transparency procedures his administration has promised but not fully lived up to. The submission garnered 1,420 points on the site. It references a Politico.com story about how President Obama issued a bill signing the same day as the House voted on the issue. This may come to a surprise to anyone who's been following his campaign and his promise to offer sunlight before signing on the legislation. Obama's campaign website still states, too often bills are rushed through Congress and to the President before the public has the opportunity to review them. As President, Obama will not sign any non-emergency bill without giving the American public an opportunity to review and comment on the White House website for five days. Since taking office in January, the Obama administration has been hard at work revamping the way the White House communicates with the public through new technologies. However, one Redditor commented that they can host videos on Vimeo and YouTube and repurpose them for the White House website, but they can't publish a PDF or HTML? The Obama administration did release a blog post about this issue. This policy will be implemented in full soon. Currently, we are working through implementation procedures and some initial issues with the congressional calendar. Another Redditor commented about the implementation procedures in question. Implementation procedures, huh? It's not that hard here. I'll take care of them for you. Get the bill, upload it to a web server, submit URL to reddit.com, and read comments. But not everything in the comments was about the technical needs of the administration. Another Redditor had this to say, here's the real issue. Obama's five days before signing goes against the time is of the essence stimulus bill. He's going to get that thing passed in the Congress, then he's going to sign it ASAP. If he said, and now I'll just sit it on the website for a week while more Americans lose their jobs, he'd be crucified. So as a result, there are implementation delays. That's politics. Let us know what you think in the comments at reddit.com or upvote.tv. Also, you can go there and give an upvote to any stories that you think are relevant. If the stories become popular, we'll cover it here on Upvote TV. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.